All right, Unit 1, Review Part 2. We're on number 15. All right, so a lot of fractions. It's an equation, so we want to clear our fractions first. So let's see, we need an LCD. So this one's a little tricky. Um, our largest number is 8. 4 goes into an 8. So we don't have to, we could use an 8 if there was just a 4 and an 8. But 3 won't go into 8, so 3 needs to be multiplied by 24. So our LCD, I mean, th is 24, okay? So <clears throat> another way to look at that is um, so these two have something in common um so that's yeah that's not gonna work so i i think i'd stick with what i had eight is the large one always look at the largest one first do the other ones go into it if they don't this one does so you only have to worry about the three so it's a 24. all right so, I like to take the 3 out of the 24, get the 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Um, if you want to do 8, 24 times 8 divided by 3, you should get 24. Okay, this one is 24 times a negative 5 divided by 4, which is a negative 30 Y. Was that a Y? That's a V. That's supposed to be a V. Okay. And then 24 times a negative 7 over 8. Is a negative 21. Okay, much better looking. Move this this way. So this is... Okay, get the V alone. These are both divisible by 5 because they end in a 5 or a 0. So that's my final number. All right, what's 16? 16, I would clear with the 9. And that gives you... Negative four one four equals negative u. So divide them both by negative one. So this is four one four. So just just to check that one. Um, equals four one four nine. So just check, 414 divided by nine is 46, so we're good. All right, it says, for each value of W, determine whether it is a solution. Pick yes or no. So they want you to put a 12 in for W and see if it's a solution or not. So negative 14 equals 12 over 4 minus 3. Negative 14 equals 3 minus 9 is not going to give you that, so that's a no. Negative. Negative 14 equals 24 over 4 minus 9. Negative 14 equals 6 minus 9. That's not going to work either. Nope. Uh, negative 14 equals negative 20 over 4 minus 9. Negative 14 equals negative 5 minus 9, which is your true thing, which is a yes. <clears throat> negative 14 equals negative 32 over 4 minus 9. Negative 14 equals 
Well, this can't be true because the last one was true. So W can only be one thing. So this isn't going to work either. Um, you can also just go up here. Negative 14 equals W over 4 minus 9. So um, I would, you can clear the fraction. Let's do that. No, in class, that's what you wanted to do first. Let's see. 14 times 4. Negative 56 equals W minus 36. <clears throat> Where is my calculator? And find out the answer was 20, so you knew that one was correct, and all the other ones were wrong. Okay. Number 18, a wire is 20 four inch uh, centimeters long, cut into two pieces. So this is a part problem. The longer piece is six longer than the shorter. So the shorter is X. The other one is six longer. Find the length. So the equation that you need is adding these two together to equal 24. Combine like terms. I like to go back and check. If x is 9, so 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 and 9 are, tw are 24, so we're good. So what does it want? It wants the length of the shorter piece, which is 9 centimeters. Solve the equation for y. Um, you can, I like to just, I know it messes with people. If I remember, we said you can clear the fractions in any step. I like to go ahead and move some things. Um, that way, I'm not multiplying by so many different terms, but that is up to you. Um, this would be y equals 28 for number 19. What does it say on the key? Oh, did I drop my negative? I dropped my negative. All right, so let's do it the other way to check. So if you wanted to clear the fraction and multiply everything by negative 7, negative 7, negative 7, it will give you y equal, not y equals, y minus 21 equals negative 49 plus 28, 21 plus 21 y equals 28. Negative 28. Negative, 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 negative 28. Either way. All right. Uh, solve for x. Combine like terms. Move. Oops. Nine again. What do I have on my key? <clears throat> I have eight on my key. What'd I do? Oh, why do I want it to be a 12? What is it on the key? 20? Why does it eight on the key? Hang on, let's try that again. What am I doing? I get it wrong on there. Did I get it wrong on there? Negative that that plus that is a negative eleven plus x equals negative three. Add eleven to both sides. X equals eight. Okay, I don't know what I was doing before. <clears throat> Eight, that's a four. 
plus 2 equals... All right, so we just have a lot of distributions going on here. All right, so this is 8x minus 32 plus 2 equals 4x plus 20. Combine like terms, 8x minus 30 equals 40, or 4x plus 20. I'll write that over here. Minus the 4x minus the 4x plus 30 plus 30. Divided by 4. Uh, reduce by 2 is that what I got? That's what I have over there. 25 over 2. Do not convert to a decimal, please. So make sure it's a reduced fraction. All right, solve for A. Uh, A is in the parentheses, so I need to distribute to get it out. Now I need A alone on one side, so moving other things away from it. These are not like terms, we're not gonna put them together. And get the A alone. So A equals Y minus 45B over 20. or any combination of those as long as the 45b is the negative part and y is not negative, okay? Um, let's see, solve for y. It's an equation, here's a combo to go together. Must do that before we start moving stuff. This y needs to go over here with this y, this 14. Needs to go over here with this guy. Isolate. Uh, negative 8. Did I have that on the key? I had a positive 8 on the key. Did I drop a negative? I dropped a negative over here. This was a negative 11, a positive 8, negative, 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 makes that a positive. All right. Um, this one you could just multiply by 6. Ooh, no, we don't. Mm. Okay, a better than 6 would be what? Well, I got a 5 over here. How about a 30? 30, 30 times 5 divided by 6 is going to be 25H. 30 times 4 divided by 5 is 24. H equals 24 by 25. That's what it says on the key, too. Let's, let's check that one. 5 over 6. I'm saying h is 24 over 25, and all that's going to equal 4 over 5. Let's make sure. All right. Um, you can multiply 24 by 5 and 25 by 6, or you can reduce stuff all over the place. Oh, and that tells you right there, 4 over 5. We're good. Um, all right, next... This is the last, this is the last one. Okay, solve for x. Uh, LCD is what? Two times three, they have nothing in common, multiply them together, you get six. Clear the fractions with the that, that's gonna be six times one over two. Three x. Six times one over three plus 2, and negative 30.
x equals negative 32 over 2. Ooh, let's jump check that one. Okay, this would be negative 32 over 4, which is negative 8. Right? Negative 8 plus 1 third isn't that. What did I do? Oh, this is a three. That's why. <laughs> so six. Okay, six into thirty-two. Let's reduce that. It's not going to be an eight. Let's get this out of the way. If you reduce this by, oops, reduce this by two. Let's start there. This is going to be negative sixteen divided by three. So negative 16 over 3 plus 1 third is negative 15 over 3, which is a negative 5. Oh, whew. okay. Just making sure. Sometimes I mess up when I check, which doesn't help. But um, I feel better about it. All right, thanks. That's it.